Say you just got your flight canceled. How can you get a guaranteed refund? So the Department of Transportation mandates it. So it may take a while, but you are owed a refund and do not take a voucher or anything less. You can always um, file a DOT complaint that forces the airline to respond. And in most cases, you will eventually get your refund. Now, if you're stranded, the airline should rebook you, but often that they're not going to rebook you on partners. So this is where people get stuck for days in airports. You don't have to just fly with that airline. You're going to get your refund if you have the funds or your frequent flyer miles, rebook yourself on a different carrier, and then place a claim with your credit card company for the difference uh, due to the disruption. Most of those travel credit cards have the, tr the travel cancellation coverage built in. You just need to know about it. But do know you are owed a full cash refund if your flight's canceled for any reason by the airline. Just lastly, while we've got you, Brian, I mean, shoebies, uh, as they've colloquially been called, and summer go hand in hand. You've got tourists, you've got visitors in different parts of the world. Barcelona, they're taking a little bit of issue with this, it seems, though. What exactly is happening there? And I mean, does it seem like they're going to cozy up to the idea of tourists continuing to flock to the well, destination. You know what? I, I wish that they were in New York City right now because I need someone spraying me with a water gun to cool me down wherever I go. But, you know, the protesters there are uh, against anti, they're basically over against over tourism. And what locals in a lot of countries, and I was in Portugal earlier this year, a similar sentiment is, okay, tourism's great, but when it's too much, when it's pricing out residents, when people can't afford to get apartments because they're all on Airbnb for tourists, that's when local communities get upset. That's what we're seeing in Barcelona, where protesters are squirting people down on Las Ramblas, which is their popular tourist thoroughfare, trying to prove a point. They do have a very leftist government who has promised to crack down on home rentals and return more affordable housing to the people. But it is a message to tourists, don't always just go to the most populated places. For example, outside of Barcelona, there's so many beautiful little sea towns Caracas, Sitges. So don't just go to the tourist hubs, branch out a little bit and spread your tourist dollars outside of just those mega city centers. All right. I uh, went to Barcelona last year before the Super Soakers arrived and the shipment was able to make it to port. Uh, Brian Kelly, the Point Sky founder, thanks so much for taking the time. Thanks for having me.